Page 1 of 3 Interstellar Navigation System for Near Light Speed by Dr. Margo Vitato, Rachel Romero Editor. Humans have had a fascination with the heavens since the beginning. The Greeks envisioned the population of supernatural beings in the heavens as a way of explaining occurrences on Earth and in the sky. The Chinese created fantasies of flights to the heavens that predate the European Renaissance. During the Renaissance, the European Johann has Kepler wrote stories speculating about possibilities of flights to the moon. During World War II the Allies captured German B-2 rockets and began to use them as sounding rockets to study background radiation of the stratosphere and space itself. Now, to study the universe further, we need to get above light pollution so we can see, and so we have rockets transport both astronauts and robotic exploration devices into orbit. Only within the last 20 years, it has become possible to conceive of exploring nearby star systems within a human lifetime. But, with all of our current designs for near-light speed spacecraft, we still must invent the necessary navigation system that will enable such near-light speed-based interstellar travel. Our present-day navigation systems are heavily dependent on Newton's theory of gravitation. The three basic problems with the use of this Newtonian theory are, 1. We can't predict the gravitational effects of inertial reference frames at interstellar distances because of their vastness. 2. Nor can we predict the effect of massive celestial bodies upon the interstellar craft. 3. Newtonian theory is inadequate to the task of calculating the potential effects of variable time scales from one inertial reference frame to another. Page 2 of 3 Nevertheless, there is a solution to the problem of navigating through interstellar space at near light speeds. We need a navigation system that makes use of both the special and general theories of relativity to accurately compensate for the space-time effects at near light speed. Let's discuss inertial reference frames. Inertial reference frames have physical laws that vary according to their spatial point of reference and near light velocity. Both reference frames are in motion with respect to each other as they travel. The Fitzgerald Lorentz contraction occurs in the eye of an observer from outside the reference frame of an object approaching near light speed. Time dilation is the law that decides the sequential elongation of time nearing light speed. Another variable of physical law describes the amount of kinetic energy that is required to change direction and slash or speed of one inertial reference frame to another at near light speed. As an object approaches the speed of light, its mass tends to increase. Hence its kinetic energy also increases. These increase continue until the velocity of the object reaches a speed that is extremely close to the speed of light. Then the kinetic energy that propels it approaches infinity because the mass of the object in question approaches infinity. It becomes a black hole. No material object can travel at the speed of light or faster in a vacuum. As the object approaches the speed of light, its mass approaches infinity. The velocity of the object approaching light speed warps the fabric of space-time, altering the path of light and distorting the visual field. We can precisely determine the velocity of an object at near light speed by its Doppler effect. The Doppler effect describes the light perceived from the point of view of the object as it approaches or departs from another light emitting or illuminated reference point. Einstein's theories of relativity describe an object at near light speed becoming blue shifted with shorter wavelengths on the electromagnetic spectrum as it approaches the observer. As it departs from an observer, it shifts to red and its wavelengths on the electromagnetic spectrum elongate. Einstein made a conceptual leap by equating the effects of acceleration with that of gravitation. Based upon the predictions derived from Einstein's general theory of relativity, we understand that all of the stellar systems of the Milky Way galaxy orbit a black hole. The Einstein de Sitter hypersphere model of the fabric of space-time has a beginning and an end, whereas the Lobachevsky model of space-time is infinitely open. Quasars have been detected as far as 1 2.9 billion light years away from Earth, and we suspect that there are more even farther away. Also, our present understanding leads us to believe that the universe is much older than previously thought. 
both gravity and the velocity of objects approaching light speed affect the flow of time. Systems based on the theories of relativity affect the flow of time in all types of timekeeping devices. Even oscillators are affected by the time dilation effects of both theories of relativity. We know the actual rate of stellar rotation around the Milky Way's galactic core because these speeds have been experimentally derived from the Doppler shifts in the light from their stellar systems. The equations of the general theory of relativity allow us to predict the locations of stellar systems within the Milky Way galaxy within the time period of several centuries. Consequently, it is possible possible to construct a hardware-based quasi-closed loop-based interstellar navigation system that will function in an extremely accurate manner.